You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall. Hi, friends. Hey, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today for an unboxing. This is Dreamer Designs. I have to apologize, I'm not quite myself today. Um, if you've been aware, you've been on my channel at all. I did have to have a surgery this week and I'm a little bit suffering from like a post anesthesia migraine. <laughs> um, this is the first time I felt well enough to actually even get out and film, but I thought I was kind of anxious to see this one. So let's look at it, okay? Today we're gonna be looking at Dreamer Designs and this is a Curtis Reykjavich. This painting, however, I have to be honest with you, was a bit of a train wreck, in my opinion, with the, um, with the rendering. <laughs> um, I just basically get his paintings because I love his artwork. Um, but this one, I question whether it's salvageable. We're gonna look at it, okay. Um, this is, um, this painting today is Rapunzel. Let's open this up. Now, first off, the original image, she's quite pink. So, I don't, I don't feel like their rendering is completely, is completely just all of them. I, I gotta be honest. I think this is gonna be a hard one. If anything, if you were rendering this painting of Rapunzel, you would probably, instead of going pinker, want to try to take it and go lighter with the skin to make her not look like she's, well, to be honest, the pink purple makes me look like she's, she's boiling or something like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the, what's the right word for it, but, um, I think the skin could have benefited from being, you know, um, not so pink. Unfortunately, I feel like they went extra pink. And so I'm very curious when we look at these drills. Okay, so we're gonna look at their box. This is a typical Dreamer Designs box. They've got this handle that honestly just makes it really difficult to put your canvas back in. Um, <laughs> I kind of wish they would get rid of it, to be honest, because I do like to store my paintings in their boxes um, before I complete them and after I complete them. And that does create problems getting it back in. Aren't I starting this unboxing lovely? <laughs> you guys tell I'm already in a bit of a grouchy mood, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to meter it down. Okay guys, I'm sorry. Um, we have got our toolkit here, the soft bag. This soft bag is so nice and soft. I just like fill it. That makes the day better. I need a pillow made out of this material because it's so soft. Um, but in their toolkit, you do get, it looks like my tweezer cover fell out, but you do get your two pens with your two different tips. One's great for ABs. And then your tweezers, which would normally come, they're branded, they would normally come with um, the thing on it, but it fell off. We've got two things of wax, two soft squishies, two boats, so you can diamond paint with a friend. Baggies in a bag, nicely contained. And then we have got a seven placer, a three placer, and a straightener, all helpful tools. So that is in your tool kit. Um, put these tweezers back together so they don't stab anyone. Very nice. Um, your kit does come in this bag. Okay, I do, I do love it that they tie it with a bow. I think it looks so nice. Inside this bag as well, you do get your drills, which it looks like we got in two bags see the colors I really do like that mint green in there we're gonna have to see we're gonna look especially at the skin color in this kit to see 
Um, they do tie their kits or they, they roll them around a foam roller. So um, they're quite tight. I recommend rolling this backwards um, because it is a poor blue canvas. Um, it'll be just fine. Oh boy. <laughs> Now I know that it's the saturated, that is the very, their canvases tend to be very saturated, um, which some people really like, some people don't. It just is a personal preference. For some people, it helps them see the canvas really well. For other people, it's a little too bright, but um, it's just whatever. Um, I don't necessarily mind it. Um, but inside you do get, it looks like this one got a little bit bent. But you do get this um, list of your colors. It looks like there is 62 colors in this kit. And um, these are individual stickers. Just be careful with this one. These kind of tend to come off easily. Um, as well as, I'm sorry guys, I'm so disorganized in this, but you do get your instruction sheet. <laughs> if this is the first video you're watching of mine, you're probably like, what in the world? Okay. So, I do really like the colored braids. I think you could do some fun things with ABs in the braid. Um, but you can already see right here. Do you see this right here? This is her hand. And that is bright pink. Okay. <laughs> now, if you can see this face. Um, um, man, that is bright. Very bright. I really, we'll have to see. We're going to have to see these colors. I do think that, um, I might try to move stuff because I feel like I'm, I think there's really fun things you could do to this kit if you can salvage the skin color and not make it be this bright magenta. So let's pull out these drills. Um, the symbols, I, I was gonna say, they look pretty normal Dreamer Design symbols. Um, these ones are printed pretty well. This is the sort of canvas, I have to warn you. It is um, scalloped and poked, but it frays like crazy and so you have to be really careful with these edging that it doesn't get into your canvas now i find it's not so much a big deal with squares but with the rounds they get really stuck in this one is a square painting so it's it's all good um looks like up at the top we have rapunzel legally licensed by curtis reykjavich this is a 60 by 80 centimeter and as i've said before in other videos i really do think his work is best rendered in the 60 by 80 um, let's open these up. I do like this little bird right here in the window. The little bird right there. <laughs> so, let's see. We're just going to take a quick glance at these drills because I just don't know that I have it in me to read them all. But we will pull out the individual skin colors. Looks like these are our two ABs in the kit. This blue and this white. I've noticed that lately Dreamer Designs, um, their ABs, are not as like covered in AB coating as you usually see. And I think it's pretty, I, I kind of like, it makes me want to have like the option <laughs> um, with, with ABs because sometimes I feel like the coating can be too strong. And I'm like, that's actually a really novel idea to have a lighter coating of the AB because I think it actually is, is really pretty. Um, I really like these greens. They're not colors that I've really seen a ton of before. Uh, so we'll 
so I can see. <laughs> um, the drills. Got quite a bit of 310. Just a little bit of 890, pretty green. Lots of this 938. And then this is what I'm afraid of that this is her skin color. <laughs> But we will see. So, um, I'm going to pull out her skin colors and get back to you. Okay, <laughs> so I have pulled out the skin colors and this is not what you typically would pick out for skin color. Like, let's just kind of be honest. The three main colors are going to be um, these colors um, that you're going to see right here um, in the face and on the eyes. This is going to be the color that is underneath the eyes. You're going to have these darker colors that are going to be the shading in the face up here. And... Um, these are going to be in some of the lighter places, like the lighter areas of it. Um, overall, I just, <laughs> like I said, um, this, this painting, when you look at it, it is the, the girl Rapunzel is, is pink, but I also don't feel like she's this dark of pink, you know? Um, and I hate to just be super critical, but I just feel like this was, I don't know exactly, um, what, what you do as far as, you know, if this, if this skin is, is salvageable or if you just do a pink lady, like she's a completely foreign species and she's, um, more of a space person that would have pink colored skin. You know, I don't know. I thought maybe just because I'm a Star Wars fan and I'm like, I know they have all different kinds of colors of skin. Like that's, you don't, you don't see on planet Earth. <laughs> but um, I do really kind of, I like, I like the background. Like I like that she's in the, the tower um, and she's in the window. I think her hair could be kind of cool. Like I said, I think this braid could be really neat. You could do some really fun things with, um, with the braid and with special drills. The, the birds are cute. Um, I wonder if you could do anything special with these little gems that are on here. I bet you could make this sun and moon. Um, and she's even got like a little bird right here that's like on this chain. I bet you could do some fun things with that and make those stand out really a ton. Um, and I, I'll be really honest. I think this brick wall, like, like I said, I think it's going to actually be really cool. I think the flowers are going, or these blue leaves on the outside are going to be really neat. Um, I just honestly, I think this painting could turn out really well if I could figure out how to, um, maybe change the skin color a little bit, not a little bit, a lot, but let me know what you guys think. I be honest, I'm not a true artist. Like, I don't really get shading. <laughs> Color theory is difficult for me and things like that. Like art class was the one, I was a straight A student and art class was the one that I got um, my worst grades in. So maybe it's just um, too complicated, but I do think this one could be neat if I could figure out the skin. 
on this one. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I will see you guys in another video soon and hopefully I can get back to my regular posting and get some videos up that I had planned for this last week that just didn't get up. So I will see you guys in another video. Bye. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection on me, I'm getting back up on my feet.